Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the October 30th, 31 reading for Sage, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus in the North Node. All right, so let's see. I'm going to show y'all my outfit because y'all like to see it. Okay, so I'm not going to turn around because it's a bit cheeky. All right, but there it is for y'all, all right? No shoes, so I know y'all just want to see the shoes too. So anyways, let's see, Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, Venus, North Node. For Sagittarius, October 30 and 31 for Sag. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. October 30 and 31, we're gonna pull one from my deck, which will be on my website, so. Look forward to that. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node for October 30 and 31 for Sagittarius. 30 and 31 for Sagittarius, okay? Amanda Perez, Angel. So that's my wild card and blue light. Sex is on my mind. So two fell out, so I'm going to just take them. All right, so blue light song. You should play that. Sex is on my mind. This is how this person feels about you or this is how you feel about them. Yeah, cherish, unappreciated. Who got this card? I think Cancer. So you can have cancer highly aspected. So you should go watch that video. You could be dealing with a cancer. But it says Amanda Perez, angel. So somebody sees you as an angel. And this is the only wild card in my deck. So this is something very significant here. Somebody really, you stand out or you're irreplaceable. I have that card in my deck too. Yeah, it says cherish. Somebody feels like they unappreciate. They did not appreciate you. Yeah, unappreciate. Or this is how you feel or this is how they feel. Okay, it says I deserved it when you cussed me out. Yep. You were not only my lover, but my best friend. I want to impregnate you. The sweetest taboo. Okay, so somebody somebody wants to impregnate you. You were like a friend to this person, not only a lover. And they did not appreciate you, uh, Sagittarius. Or you didn't appreciate somebody yet. SWV, weak. I'm getting you feel really weak. I think about you around the clock. Yeah, I should have chose you. Yes. This, go watch Cancer's uh, video because you could definitely have Cancer highly expected here. Somebody feels like they should have chose you, man. They should have fucked with you. Sex is on their mind. They missed the sex or if you never had sex, they want to. They're very attracted to you. I'm getting Queen of Wands energy here. Somebody can't get you off their mind. Or you can't get a Leo off your mind or somebody with Leo highly aspected. We have Amanda Perez, Angel Wild Card. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this is. All right. For Sagittarius, Sun Moon Rising Venus North Node, the October 30th and 31. For Sagittarius, what is this blue light? Sex is on my mind. Amanda Perez. Yeah, somebody want to come in quick with fast communication, email, text, travel, ticket. Somebody's like, man. I'm trying to, yeah, the sun. Somebody's like, you my happy. You make me so happy. Are you so attractive? Are you so fine? I feel like it was like love at first sight. Yeah, the damn. As soon as I said that, the two of cups could be dealing with a cancer. Please go watch cancer's video because this is going to resonate. It's going to resonate for you. All right. All right. Yeah, the Empress, Eight of Wands. Somebody sees you as absolutely beautiful. The Empress is the highest in the deck, the most beautiful. She could, It could be a Libra. And then we have Libra again, Fourth Source. So this is someone you're not talking to. This is also somebody that compels you to want to change, Sagittarius, or this is how they feel about you. Let's see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, the 30th and the 31st of October. What is this blue light? Sex is on my mind. Angel Perez, Angel card, and Cherish, Unappreciated as the overall. First card out, the Four of Wands, period. I think Cancer got this card out first, too, so you definitely could be have Cancer someone highly aspected. Sun, Moon, or Rising, or whatever. Okay, but I'm getting here like somebody, yeah, somebody's like, they look at you, you could be on stage, you could be on camera, you're a performer or whatever, but somebody like, they feel this twin flame connection with you, 11-11 card. I told you I felt Queen of Wands, there she is, a Leo. Somebody's like, damn, you fine as fuck. Okay, I, I want to fuck you or somebody's thinking about the sex y'all had or how good your pussy is or you think somebody's pussy is good or you, if you never had it, you want to try it. Yeah, we got the Page of Wands, Eight of Wands, okay. So somebody, somebody just gets finer and finer. I feel like somebody could have slimmed up or toned up too. You like somebody's body or somebody's working out or they just look good. You like, damn, you fine, man. What the fuck? Yeah, a black cat could be significant. I feel like the Queen of Wands could be a tattoo. So somebody could have a black tat cat tat tattoo like I have on my hand, but it could be like on their thigh or their back or wherever the fuck. 
You could have did this. You could have done somebody's tattoo here or something like that or something like that. But okay, so this is somebody who tattoos you could have done. Okay, because I'm hearing something about a tattoo of a black cat or something. But somebody just sexy as fuck to you, man. I mean, they just get finer and finer, man. Like real shit. Every time you see them, this is somebody you could follow online or you watch. You like someone's photos or you think you just think somebody like they just with sex is on my mind. You're the only card um, uh, sign so far that has pulled that. And you are the um, seventh sign that I'm doing. So no other signs have pulled that. But you're definitely this could definitely involve a Cancerian as well. So go watch it. Yeah, I feel like somebody's like obsessed with you. They think, yeah, the Ace of Cups. They want to they wanna be with you, man. Somebody wants you by any fucking means. Or you want somebody by any means, Sagittarius. Yep, Ace of Swords, Queen. You're going to tell someone this or you want to reconcile or you want somebody's forgiveness. The letter M could be significant so their name could start with the letter M. Or the last name, first name, middle name, or whatever. Alright, let's see. What's the Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups? Yeah, you, you are about to take massive action. Could be an Aries. Towards this person, you feel like this person is the one for you. You're, I, I'm also getting something about someone's voice. You love somebody's voice. They have a beautiful singing voice or humming voice or you just really, yeah, the, <laughs> this Leo, man, they just shine so bright. They make you so happy. This is somebody with such a beautiful and youthful energy. I'm getting something about someone's skin too. They have beautiful skin or it's radiant or it's the perfect color. It's like this bronze color or you really like the highlights in somebody's hair or something like that. All right, let's see. Somebody has these bronze or gold or brown highlights in their hair. You like that? Yeah, Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this person gives you emotional fulfillment. Something about a connection through music or someone's voice. Somebody is like, yeah, you can't get this person off your mind. Angel, Amanda Perez, Angel, go listen to that song. Somebody feels like you're an angel. God, send me an angel. All right, y'all know that song, or go look it up. And we have Blue Light, Sex is on My Mind, yeah, and Cherish, I'd appreciate it. These are all songs that um, I kind of that kind of came to me, and that's why I made this deck. So somebody could very much be into music a lot. Yeah, the Eight of Wands and the Judgment, I feel like somebody's going to reach out or email you or send you a playlist or send you some music or someone's going to express how they feel about you. Oh, my gosh, yeah, the Two of Cups, that they're in love with you. Somebody could be telling you this. And that they miss you or that they're sorry or that they fucked up or something like that. All right. Or this is you. Could be a Leo. Okay. I feel like somebody. Oh, I feel like somebody's in love here. Okay. Yeah. It says behind that. I deserved it when you cussed me out. Yeah. The Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Yeah. Somebody got ass got cussed the fuck out. Could be a Gemini or a Libra. An air sign cussed that ass. I feel like somebody feels stupid because whatever somebody said was the truth. The queen of swords. Somebody said it and they attack. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, this reading is adding up really good. Somebody like, nah, you tried it or whatever the fuck. I feel like you feel. Uh, yeah, I feel like. Yeah, the nine of wands. That's you, Sagittarius. You're irritated by what somebody is saying. You feel like somebody's tactless or they're rude. Or you're just fearful. You're intimidated by how they talk. You're worried that somebody's going to cuss your ass out or. Or something, yeah, it's stressing you out. Yeah, Ten of Wands, you're like, fuck. I just, I don't want to, I... Or something that somebody is saying is stressing you out. You're like, fuck, man. I just need to give up. I can't do it. I'm too insecure, this person. Because I feel like you're saying here, Sagittarius, or this is this person saying it. I deserved it when you cussed me out. So somebody knows that they deserve to be cussed out or whatever's being said to be fucking said. Whether they're intimidated by it, scared, or whatever, they know what the fuck they did, and they and they know that. Yeah, the eight of cups, they know. Yeah, the seven of cups, they know why you walked away, or or whatever the fuck, they know why you're acting the way you are, or whatever, or you know. Okay. All right. Yeah, I feel like I feel like somebody's like, oh, yeah, the three of swords, seven of cups, yeah. So there, this was some kind of like betrayal or lie. You lied to someone. You betrayed them. You stabbed a huge lie. Okay. Or there was some kind of confusion here. Or you, you had several options or you were lying and cheating. 
So somebody's gone. Yeah, they pulled away. Somebody walked away from the third parties, the lies, the betrayal, the confusion, the beguiling, the tricking, or whatever you tried to do. Somebody's done, or this, or you're done. You pick what side of it you're on. Yes, yeah, over the world card. This could have been something that happened several months ago, or or or, or close to that seven or ten months ago, maybe even a year. It's probably been like a, it's approaching a year, or it is a year that something has been over. Yeah. But this death card is here. So I feel like somebody has done a lot of contemplating and thinking here about they, they've had like a year to do this or or if it hasn't happened yet, it's going to be. So if this just happened where you it was a breakup or an ending, it, it could be a year from now you're feeling this way. Or if it has been a year, you're feeling this way. Like I'm in love with this person. I've had a lot of time to think about this. Okay, I've changed a lot. I've not feelings have changed. I'm, I'm able to see things clear. Yeah, the tower, Scorpio energy here, heavy Virgo uh, or a Leo. But I feel like there's been some kind of epiphany or awakening. Maybe you were under a spell or you were confused or somebody tried to do this to you or you were with somebody who was lying. Maybe another relationship had to end or you had to see something for what it is or somebody else did. But with the Will of Fortune and not yet, the Ace of Swords, somebody it has gained clarity. It's like somebody's awoke, awakened. Like, yes, you're the one or... I don't know, yeah. And we have the Wheel of Fortune, yeah. Because I feel like, yeah, the Ten of Swords, I feel like somebody did something or said something abruptly here in the past. They really said, yeah, not because, yeah, look at this, yeah, Nine of Swords. Now someone's worried because they cut something off or they said something or they were jealous or they rejected you or they uh, wanted to have options or they just, or, 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 or they just fucked up, man. I feel like somebody tried to do something purposely to stab you in the back or hurt you or make you feel some kind of way. Now they're in regret because they realize you're actually the one for them. They actually met you by chance. Somebody Now somebody's looking at their behavior. Now somebody's sorry. What's the Knight of Cups? Someone's worried that you're going to reject them as well. Someone wants to reach out and communicate, but they're worried about what they said or did in the past. So now they, they, they're they worried. Yeah, somebody's trying to come up with a real clever way to come back into you. to 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 uh Because the Knight of Cups and the, um, the Moon, it's like, your, it's like your intuition or it's like your, your creative abilities is at an all-time high. You're trying to really find a creative way to come back in towards someone. To get them to open up, put their guard down, or to hear you out because you fucked up. You know that. Somebody knows that, man, and they're losing their shit. Like, man, how do I make, how do I say this? How can I find a way to strike up a conversation, apologize, say something, do something? Somebody also could have broke up or left a situation that they were in or whatever, man. What's the Knight of Cups? Yeah, and the, yeah somebody's like, I got to do it with my money because this person, yeah, the King of Pentacles, I need to buy their ass something or take or do something, man. Yeah, because somebody here, they, they, they ain't, uh-uh. Or somebody, or somebody stole money or holding on to someone's money or someone stole money from someone or overcharged. Somebody did some grimy ass shit, dog. That's why somebody shook or you are or worried that somebody, yeah, because they're not. You stole from them or you play, yes, yeah, over. World card. Yeah, it's over. Somebody did some grimy ass shit or somebody's on pills or they're a thief, a liar, a con, or a bottom feeder. What the fuck is this? I feel like somebody came into somebody's life is love. Two of Cups, son. They brought the sun into somebody's life. Real, genuine love, happiness. This was a love by chance. This is a love somebody manifested and prayed for and wanted. It came in and they and they did something fucked up to this person. For yeah, because they were jealous or hateful or mad or or they wanted to compete or envious or whatever. This is gay. Yeah, we have justice card. Yeah, but justice is here. What goes around comes around, yeah. We got the world, the justice, and the goddamn will of fortune. We have the star, yeah, karmic fame. Now somebody's a star. Now somebody's got a beautiful, bright future. Now somebody's shining bright, and somebody's like, man, I fucked up. Why the fuck did I act that way, do that? What the, what was the purpose, man? What was, I, I feel like somebody's asking them, so like, what was the purpose of me behaving? Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? I feel like somebody keeps saying that, yeah, because you didn't appreciate them or they didn't appreciate you. You pick what side. Now they now they're thinking about you sexually and they they um 
Now they see your worth and they see you as an angel and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in the Fool. Now somebody wants to it, offer you this offer. They want to start over from, from, from scratch. Yeah, the High Priestess. I'm getting you already know that or they already know. I'm also getting somebody something petty. I just heard this out of nowhere. I'm, I, I feel the Five of Swords, although the Five of Swords is not here, I can feel it. I feel like somebody is a psychic. Somebody can predict things. So somebody will want to give you something, apologize, offer you something, but then they won't do it because you said that they would do it or you predicted it. So they don't want you to know that you that just, just, somebody's still petty and low vibe as fuck, man, just for no reason. But somebody may try to take action, offer you something, propose, or give you like this huge gift, this jewelry, or, or a token of their love. With the King of Pentacles, or Ace of Pentacles, this could be a big offer. Yeah, the Nine of Cups, someone could be asking you out. Yeah, the Ace of Wands on a date or wanting to take you out. Somebody really wants to have sex with you. But I feel like the King is here and the Emperor. Somebody's serious, though. They're not just coming in playing. Okay, because I, you know... I don't see somebody playing. I feel like somebody's serious, but I feel like you just can't trust them. Yeah, somebody definitely wants some kind of commitment or relationship here with you. Or this is you. You had a star, the six of wands. Yeah, because you're popular, you're doing good. Yeah, someone's really attracted to you. They're watching you heavy. This person has not stopped watching you and they want to work with you or collaborate with you as well. Somebody does. They want to, but they fucked up. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, because you're very abundant. Or this person is. Yeah, they go that Five of Swords. All right. Yeah, somebody could be a little jealous of your money as well. So I would be careful of this person. I feel like they do love you, but I feel like they're a, bit, a, a little bit envious too. So you have to watch this person. Yeah, there it is again. Or they have to watch your ass. You pick what side of the shit you want. But with the High Priestess, yeah, could be a psychic or a spiritualist and a strong somebody. That's a big deal here. A star, a huge star. They're going to be a huge star. They are, and somebody's going to be, have a very wealthy future. Or this is you. I feel like somebody could have had this with this person, but they fucked it up. Not, you know, and they, then they did something hateful, like malice. They, somebody's hateful, man. So, okay. Sit in it. So those are your messages. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow.